Known as the opening act in an entertainment setting, the Christian Fellowship Chorale preceded, in this case, the featured act, an address given at a religious symposium. What drives individuals, most of whom are not wealthy, to make these personal sacrifices, what is it? Well, I may say the first answer, of course, and one that is not unique to the Mormons, is devotion to Jesus Christ. Held at the scenic campus of Chapman University in Southern California, Bishop Gerald Cosse, presiding bishop of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, spoke from the heart. His stirring remarks drew upon the history of the internationally respected welfare and humanitarian programs of the LDS faith. It is our conviction that no person can truly claim to love God without also reaching out and lifting up God's children, both through offering special comfort and providing for temporal wants. Speaking before a crowd of more than 800 guests comprised of Chapman University administration and faculty, along with community and faith leaders, Bishop Cosse outlined the principles behind the programs. It is this phenomenon, the mutually beneficial impact that service has on both giver and receiver that drives us as a church to not only provide aid through donated money and supplies, but to build in opportunities for service and personal interaction. The church's success in outreach is greatly enhanced as it joins with others. Our church family, if you will, he has expanded to include partners and community members like many of you today, who, though not of our faith, are nonetheless united with us by the shared value of caring for those in need. In a memorable tribute to the late church president, Thomas S. Monson, who passed away on January 2nd of this year, the presiding bishop spoke of his example of service. President Monson operated on a higher plane than most of us. Until the very last years of his life, he would be found in his free time visiting hospitals, care facilities, and homes of the elderly to lift and to cheer. It is from President Monson's example that I learned that the welfare program of the church is simply a support system designed to facilitate what really matters, which is the service for and by individual people with the end of lifting them both temporally and spiritually. The church is known for its humanitarian volunteers as much, if not more, than its humanitarian programs and funds. Bishop Cosse cited recent examples of the efforts of tens of thousands of volunteers or helping hands following hurricanes that ravaged Texas, Florida, and the Caribbean last year. The LDS Church are the best prepared people well, thank you so in much. the country. What occurred in Houston is evidence of the principle that the church's welfare system, at its core, is not a massive program managed from Utah. More often, it is the inspiration and initiative of a small group or single individual acting on basic values of self-reliance and caring for one's neighbor. By reaching out to lift others, these volunteers were lifted themselves.